Hello Scorpio, I'm Maria Simone, and this is your special 2016 Year Ahead Forecast brought to you by InsightfulAstrology.com. Scorpio, in 2016 you have quite a few lessons to learn. That's because Mars will retrograde through your sign and there's some financial recalibration that also will occur for you this year. It really is a year of retracing your steps. Let's get started. Let's begin with this Mars retrograde cycle. Mars is your co-ruler, okay? You're ruled by Pluto, but you are co-ruled by Mars. And Mars is that planet of action, energy, ambition, and goals. And Mars has a retrograde phase that begins April 17th in your second house of earned income. Mars will remain retrograde there until May 27th. And during that time, you are called to revise your strategy in how you budget your money. You're going to have to take a serious look at what's going on there, income versus expenses, um, you know, how you're marketing yourself, how you are monetizing your talents. This is a wonderful opportunity to fix those mistakes and then get serious about implementing new plans after Mars goes direct. But before Mars even goes direct, he's going to retrograde actually back into your sign. And that happens from May 27th until June 29th. So while Mars is retrograde in your sign, Scorpio, you might feel a little bit less vital than you usually do, a little more tired, you may need a little more downtime. You might feel as if no matter how hard you push, nothing is getting off the ground. And I want you to please understand that this is not the time for you to push. That would be the worst possible thing for you to do. You are not meant to go full force when the planet of action and energy is retrograde in your own sign. You are meant to take a huge personal time out and reevaluate your life goals completely. Reevaluate everything connected to how you're using your energy, including your, your own health. Is there something health-wise that you can do to promote better vitality? And if the answer to that question is yes, this is the time to address it. After June 29th, Mars will turn direct and you'll start to see forward movement again, both personally and also financially. But speaking of finances, there's a big theme, a big karmic theme of finances for you this year, Scorpio, because Saturn, the planet of limitation and lessons, will be in your second house all year long. So while this does not automatically mean that you're not making as much money or that you're going to have money troubles. What it does mean is that you have to be extremely responsible and mature about money because Saturn is trying to teach you how to consolidate your resources, how to do more with less or make what you have go even farther than you possibly can imagine. On June 17th and again on September 10th, Saturn will square off with Neptune in your fifth house. And this could confuse you when it comes to finances. If you have an opportunity to take a gamble or a risk, don't do it. It's just not the time. Gorgeous financial energy happens the end of the year when, when Saturn in your second house will be at a perfect angle to Uranus in your sixth house of work. So I see you profiting from a work assignment, work projects, by the end of the year. And I think you're waiting to the end of the year to see the profit because honestly, for most of the year, Scorpio, it's about learning how to recalibrate and retrace your financial steps and your strategy in earning money. Let's talk about Jupiter because Jupiter always gives us luck wherever he is. And Jupiter for you will be in your 11th house until September 9th. This is Friends with Benefits. You are making important social contacts this year that can really help take you far. This is also a year to make huge strides in any technological related ventures, whether it's launching a website, a webinar, social media campaign, some kind of big internet technology related project. All of this is favored for you. Pay very close attention to the opportunities that come your way for communications that are related to technology or group speaking opportunities around March 16th and again June 26th because Jupiter will be at a perfect angle to Pluto in your communication sector during that time and Pluto is your ruler. So that's very positive energy. I also want to mention that Jupiter will move into your 12th house after September 9th and now you will have cosmic luck supporting you from behind the scenes 
This is an angel in the background, real life angel that you don't know about just yet, who's helping you, who's working on your behalf, could be a, a benefactor, and it could also be divine cosmic protection just when you need it the most. An extremely fortunate eclipse is happening on March 23rd, also in your 12th house. And that eclipse can bring some kind of charitable project that you've been working on to fruition, but it could also be a time of exceptional healing where you're kind of letting go of an anxiety that you might have carried around with you for a while. So that is really beautiful. Your love and social life has a few tense trouble spots with the other eclipses this year. March 8th, a solar eclipse happens in your fifth house. On September 1st, a solar eclipse happens in your 11th house. And on September 16th, a, an, another eclipse, lunar eclipse, in your fifth house. All of those eclipses are stressfully aspected. So that means there are changes ahead for you socially, but also romantically. And you might have some decisions or some events happening around your social love life uh, over that period of time. But overall, Jupiter is blessing you socially. So it could be a time of transition where you kind of have to go in a new direction with new social contacts that you meet and possibly say goodbye to some old social contacts that are no longer serving a purpose for you. So Scorpio, in 2016, you really are at a turning point year. It is a time where you'll be challenged to retrace your steps, to solidify your personal worth, and to be really mature and responsible about your finances and how you handle executing your talents and abilities into the world. Thank you.